Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through three steps of things that you can try to fix issues that you have with your NVIDIA Shield TV. Now, if you think the issue is related to your NVIDIA Shield TV remote, I'll have a whole separate video dedicated to things that you can do to fix that. And that video will be linked down in the description so you can check it out over there. Now, the first step that we're going to try here is simply restarting your NVIDIA Shield TV. To do this, you can click the little gear in the upper right hand corner of your device, or you can hold the back button down on your NVIDIA Shield TV remote, go down and click on restart. And then once you do that, you go down and click restart again. And then that should put your NVIDIA Shield into its restarting process. Now, if your device is frozen or you're incapable of getting to the restart option through those steps, another thing that you can do is actually just unplug the power source from your NVIDIA Shield TV and then leave it unplugged for about 30 seconds, plug it back in, and then it should go through its reboot phase at that point. Once the device has rebooted, the next thing that we're going to do is check to see if that fixed whatever problem that you were having. Now, if that didn't fix your problem, the next thing that we are going to check on to see is if you have a good internet connection. Now, to check on your internet, you need to go ahead and select the little gear again in the upper right-hand corner on the main page here, and that's going to open up your settings. You can also open up the settings by holding down the back button on your NVIDIA Shield TV remote. Once you're in the settings, go down and click on network, and then make sure that you are connected to your Wi-Fi wireless router and that you have a good, strong connection. Also, if you're connected with a direct line through ethernet cable, make sure that the ethernet option is toggled to the on position. If you don't see your wireless router in these top three options, you can see more and then that'll show you all the different Wi-Fi signals that you're getting in your area just to make sure that you're connected to the appropriate wireless router and that you have a good, strong connection. If you don't have a good connection, you need to go in and perhaps reset your Wi-Fi router, that might be the issue, or just the internet might be down in your area, maybe check with your internet provider. Now, the third thing we're gonna do to see if we can fix our issue, if it wasn't the internet, is reinstall an application. This is actually something that I had to do not all that long ago. I couldn't get Twitch TV to show me the code I needed to link up my account, and I actually had to uninstall Twitch TV and then reinstall it. So we're gonna go over to the Google Play Store and enter in whatever application that we want to uninstall. For me, this was Twitch TV. So then you just go ahead and tap on uninstall and then click OK. That's going to uninstall the application. Then, of course, after you've done that, just go ahead and click install. That's going to reinstall that particular application. I did this, like I said, with Twitch TV. Once I reinstalled the application, it got to a point where it was able to work again. And I tried all of these other steps before doing a reinstallation. I reset my device. That didn't fix the problem. The only thing that ended up fixing it was uninstalling the application, reinstalling installing it and then I was able to hook up my Twitch TV account and get it going. So to get it back on your main page, you just go ahead and click the plus sign there at the end of the line, find that Twitch TV application, add it to the main page, and then you of course can move it back over to whichever position it was in. So those are three things that you guys can try to fix your NVIDIA Shield TV, doing a restart, checking the internet connection, as well as reinstalling applications. If those don't fix your problem, you think it might be a remote problem, I'll have a whole separate video dedicated to fixing your NVIDIA Shield remote linked down in the video description. And that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks for stopping on in and subscribe for more videos in the future.